Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. And ever since, I've hopefully, hopefully, have fixed the crashing problem on computer with some some wonderful thermal grease, some thermal paste. As you can see, I have been idling the living heck out of this game, and my popularity is now in the toilet. I don't even see a little blue guy here. Maybe you have to have a certain amount of popularity just to have that come up. Now you gotta build this back up. We do have some monies. But I've been idling a lot. I, I actually even did some of the, the the motorcycle club stuff while that was there. My goal, I started out, not now, let's I started out at 136 million. My goal was to get to 150 with the with the double uh, production speed on the nightclub, and then my stretch goal is to go to 156 because you know that would be an even 20 million. And now we're in a fresh week. We got 157, 777, 15777, 1952 monies here. We're gonna add to that. Now the last, the last couple of days, like the Wednesday, the Wednesday before, the, the Tuesday after, you know, during the week when it was double pressure, I did give it a night off, but then I idled it all day Wednesday on one character and then all day, all, all night into the Thursday on my other character. I sold that one off already. And now it's double money and RP on the gun running sales. So I, I have sold both of those off. That's how part of how I got here. I don't even know what we have available in here. One point one million. Alright, we've 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 done well here. So we're gonna get to one fifty nine. We're gonna close on one sixty. Not too much to buy until the the whatchamacall? I might get a Reinhardt today. Just tough. Okay, okay. We're gonna sell this stuff. And there might be a cash bonus in it as well. If and only if the delivery vehicle looks decent when he inspects it. That means don't bang it around. You can do that, right? Okay, this is pretty boring. Let's just let's just do the time warp again. Oh my goodness, it might as well be trying to survive the hunt here. You have to, there's no way of getting through or hitting something. It's only a $10,000 bonus, so we do have a time limit, but. Uh, for 1.17, considering that I'm in an invite only, I got 1.17 to make. 100k off of that, so I will make a mill. You know, it should be it should be a life is good kind of situation. I might spend all of this on the Reinhardt if I get the Reinhardt. It's supposed to be a good car. And it's on sale. Do I buy the Reinhardt and then build it later? What are we doing here? Can we scare them? That works. A little panic going there. There we are. We can clear the road out. This must be down here, because we've already clicked off. Yeah. This is that pattern where you have to go, you get to, you follow the, the line and then you have to figure out where to go from there. All right. So here's the interesting conundrum I have, is that it's another really, really good week and you can make a lot of money, you know, idling and selling off the bunker. I mean, you're making, 400 and, you know, you know, basically, well, 300,000 profit, roughly, every time you do a sell. So you do, you, four of them, you're over a million. Do I want to tie up much of my time doing all that when I'm already closing on 160 million? Like, has it gotten silly at this point? Is it just sheer silliness? I don't know. I mean, I've got other things I need to do. This looks like a busy week for me, so I'm not sure that I'm going to be able to completely flog GTA. 
the way I'd like to, as far as that's concerned. You know, the nice thing about the the double production value on the nightclub is that even if you don't sell it, if you've built it up, you can sell it like I am now. The the value doesn't drop with the with the gun running. It does, and since I am only selling it in solo friendly amounts. I do one supply run, then I sell. One supply run, then I sell. And then you, it's always a one vehicle thing. So, in theory, you'd make more money doing, like, was loading it up and loading it up and then selling a, you know... Because I do believe that progressively gets more and more valuable. But, it may not. I could be wrong. Because I never do that. <laughs> and I think it, it, it's probably, you know more effective for, for a solo player to do the solo friendly stuff because I mean you know it's just doable and you can make a lot of money I have a lot of money in my own mind I realize I'm not the professional okay but I guess it kind of comes down to do I feel like it if I if I feel like grinding gun running missions then I'll do it if I'm just feeling like yeah I, I want to do this this day I'm just I'm just gonna play the game for whether I want to play the game or not, and then if it makes money, fine. If it doesn't, fine, because I'm okay. I, you know, I, I, there's no way I'm going to spend 150 million dollars on the next DLC. It's just not. And if I can, it's a bad DLC. It really, it really is. I realize that's Tuesday. And by the way, I'm not really planning on like taking a day off and like spending Tuesday, you know, doing the new DLC. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be a consumer on on in for the first few days of this and seeing what it's about. You know, I'll be watching the the videos in the uh, the video library that I put in at the in every uh, in every one of these videos. Where is this now? Where are we going? We're we going down here. Yeah, we're going down here. I'll be watching GTA, man. I'll be watching, T you know, the grill, the gaming gorilla. I don't know there's some controversy going on because I mean, Beats Down Gaming is in the library because I, anytime I find something in interesting or useful on a channel, I'll say, all right, well, I got this here, I add it. Um, there's apparently I, I'm not gonna get involved in any of that. I'll leave it there. I mean, just because I find the videos interesting doesn't mean I endorse whether or not these are wonderful people. And turbo boost and then stop. Well, that was you're coming for you, you know. <laughs> Switching between the flow of thought of my rambles and then what's going on in the game. But at any rate, you know, I'll be watching some videos and seeing what this new DLC is about. And I'll learn it with you, and then you know, when I get to experience it at some point, maybe on a Friday or Saturday when I'm got nothing going on. Then I'll share that with you, but it's not going to be like, hey, here's my day of DLC release video. Not not going to happen. And so, we're going to have that. I'm, I'm going to be... I have actually videos planned for DLC release day. And, uh, God, I think about it. this. This video might come out on DLC release day. It depends. We might... It, it, this we might be talking about this, and it's all, like it's the future, and it's already the present, or even the past. So, just so you know, right now I'm I'm doing this, and it is the DLC is not out yet. It may be out as you see this video, and I'm just as interested as you are. Now, what does that mean if the new DLC is out, and this isn't about the new old DLC? What are the odds that you're going to watch this video? I don't know. It's what I'm making. Just talk about where I'm at here, you know? Ooh. Talking about where I'm at video. As we drive a slow van. Around trying not to ding it. No dings! I, I'll be honest, like, the whole idea behind the DLC being behind about, you know, acid dens and stuff like that does it really call to me, you know? It's not not where I want to be. This I might be getting close to where this is a you know go back to being a racing simulator for me. And uh, and not much else. You know? 
Oh, good. We made it. I mean, I don't mind the gun running stuff. I don't mind the nightclub stuff. I don't mind racing. Those are like my three things that I like doing. Some of the, the smaller, you know, the shorter attention span stuff. The, the 50,000 in the spare parts. That kind of thing. The, the mixed goods runs. Little stuff like that. Right? Those are good. Yeah, the text came a little late. Must be using Verizon. Oh! Sometimes I get really late text from Verizon. I don't know what it is. What to do now? Well. We don't need that. Let's just keep talking. We're gonna we're gonna do some things while we talk here. Where it is my too much bunker? I went past it. And find a session. I've been teleporting around the map with this, like there's no tomorrow. Just finding the new session, going to a different place. I mean, I'm kind of an interesting duck. I like the stuff that I like. Am I real jacked for the uh, the DLC? The cars, maybe. You know, we'll get some good cars in here. Please put a fortune out there, <laughs> folks. I want my Thunderbird to drive around in. And that's all copacetic. But, like, this DLC, like, I still haven't done the ULP missions because I want to do the Doomsday stuff first because it would make more sense if I'd rescued... Agent ULP before I work with Agent ULP. I think I've done one mission to unlock the one price. Okay, you all set? Nothing like transporting a batch of arms across the most violent state in the country to give you that serotonin spike, right? You know, this used to be one of the agency's hazing rituals, but I, I digress. The store is all set to take receipt of the goods. As soon as you drop them off, you get paid. Safe travels. Bing, okay, we're going the right direction. So, the concept of another business where I'm making LSD for people, I mean, that's what acid is, folks, you know, it's... We could give them all permanent trips down the road, you know, that's... I don't know, we're gonna have to see how it is. It is a Nervous Ron mission, which, Nervous Ron, is, he's hilarious. So that could pull me into it. Who knows, maybe it'll be my new favorite thing to do. I guess it's gonna depend on how they structure everything. But, like, setting up both characters with everything, probably not going to take me 150 million. You know, again, I would hope not. So, money's not a big deal. There is some part of my brain that's programmed, like, well, here's an opportunity, we need to take advantage of it, you need to grind this as much as you can, and I, I don't know that I have time this week to do it. Too much going on. they got too much going on today. It's just work around the house and working on the cars, dealing with some stuff with that. Some stuff over at my parents' house, you know. Oh, here we go. Here they come. Into the oncoming lane. With us. This is my technique for dealing with the, the guys coming at me. Just try to make them crash into other cars. And it's, it's kind of rude, but you know. You'll notice they're not coming up on me real fast. And then once you get them pulled in one side, you can go to the other. I don't even know how far back they are. This kind of bleeds into GTA 6. Am I, am I looking, you say to me, oh, Vince, are you looking forward to GTA 6? No, not really. You know, it's kind of like, from what I've seen released of it, it looks like it's going to be, you know, perhaps a, a more realistic, grittier kind of story, more true to, true to life. And that's not why I play this game, is for true to life, realistic stuff. I play it for the abject silliness of the whole thing. Let's see if we can... Mess them up enough here. 
And we messed ourselves. Well, the other car turned into us. And now I'm getting shot up. The traffic's not working for me as well as it sometimes does. I don't know. Well, hey, now that was nice. Let's shoot out their tires. There you go, some horns. Horns are good. Like, I don't want to take people in a hostage who are just trying to have a hamburger at a diner. You know, it's... Not that, I, you know, with the video game, I don't take lots of liberties with the people of, of Los Santos. I do. I mean, really. Say hello. Just for no reason. But it's... This game is so goofy in so many ways, it's really, it really, you know, you're not, you're not in it. You're not really feeling it sometimes. And that, some people would complain about that, and they're going to be looking forward to GTA 6. But I like being where I know I, I'm playing a video game doing silly things. Where I'm teleporting around the map using the find new session and stuff like that. It's not real, and it, I, I like that little bit of unreality. It's certainly, you know, am I alone in that? I don't want full immersion here, you know? Especially if I'm doing horrible things. I want to know that I'm still me, and I'm not a horrible person. I just get to drive a little truck around and shoot at people, and then get cars that I could never afford in real life. Maybe if I could afford them in real life, I wouldn't buy them in real life, because I'd you know, be making sure that my kids had like something to live on for the rest of their lives and stuff like that, you know? If I had Bugatti money, I wouldn't be driving a Bugatti, you know what I'm saying? just not just not the plan now if in like two years I'm driving a Bugatti um yeah you can call me on that no I'll I'm not even gonna complain but uh <laughs> I'll say this much it takes me a heck of a lot longer to make 50k than this So I don't know, am I gonna grind myself to like, you know, 100, I could probably get 200 million if I wanted to this week. Oh yeah, double money on that too, I forgot about that, there's 100k. There's a lot of ways to do this, maybe I will, maybe I'll, I will leave this running as I go off to do other things and make other dollars. Don't know. Maybe I will be on all this week. Maybe I won't be. We're just going to play it by whatever feels good. That's that's what I'm going to be doing in this game. And I don't know that there'll be any videos of this. You know, this may, again, I keep talking about taking a sabbatical from GTA videos, and I keep making GTA videos. So there's something that's an interesting psychological interplay here where I don't think I'm going to have anything else to say. And then I do. And then sometimes I listen back to it. Did I really have anything to say? Or was I just saying stuff to say stuff? I don't know. All I know is I need to get this shirt washed. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night. So I sold off my, my cocaine business. Got myself over the $150 million threshold that I'd set for myself for this week. And there was like a tiny, tiny little bit of product in counterfeit documents. I don't even know how I ended up with supplies in there. I had, must have won them in the at the casino wheel or something like that because I don't run this business. And there's like $21,000 left with, you know, selling it to the good place. That Well, we'll see what we got. This is what we got. And if you think I'm going to spend a half an hour to make 20,000. That, that fell off. One, two, three, four. I think that's it. 
cool that is, all the explosions, right? Yeah, yeah. I can't destroy this, right? It won't die. So I have to get it in it first? I mean, certainly, do they put some kind of anti-griefing thing in? Am I simply not allowed to blow my own stuff up? I mean, I'm just not. I'm not for 20k. Do you know how many better ways there are? Make 20k? Look, it won't die from fire. There you go. Come on, let's swim. Hello. Nah, I'm just, I'm not, and that's over with now. Just hopefully never touch the documents business ever again. Again, still don't even know how it had supplies to begin with. LJT is not going to be happy. Let's listen to him, bitch. Come on, where's the call? Yeah, maybe you won't get a call. I don't know. There we go. Nothing? Huh? Nothing? We sold nothing? I'll tell your employees that it was all for booking, huh? Long John, fuck it off. Speedy Gonzalez, friend of my sister. Speedy Gonzalez, Whatever. friend of everybody's sister.
everybody sees 